like Ms. Cheryl Fisher, our Director of Transportation, to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. And it's up there. <laughs> to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Okay. Ms. Callahan, if you could take the roll. Okay, do we have a motion? Madam Chair, I move that fiscal year 15 amended unified scale be added to the agenda as an action item and the agenda be adopted as amended. Second. There's been a motion and a second that the FY15 amended unified scale be added to the agenda as an action item and that the agenda be adopted as amended. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say no. The ayes have it. Okay, we're going to do our special presentations. All right. We'd like to ask the board members to come forward, please. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight um, is the board's recognition evening, and uh, we are very honored to recognize the exceptional achievements of so many of our colleagues um, and students. Uh, Dr. Jack and those of us in his senior staff, Mr. Finn, Ms. Bourne and I, um, will be reading about the accomplishments of groups and individuals. And typically this is the time where someone always says, hold your applause until we finish all of them. But we're not saying that tonight. We want the applause for each group or individual um, as they come forward, because we are um, so very proud of them and the board wants to recognize that. So first, uh, we are gonna begin with the Virginia Board of Education Distinguished Achievement Award. And I'm going to ask Christy Thorpe, principal of C. Hunter Ritchie to come forward. Ritchie Elementary has been honored by Governor McAuliffe and the Board of Education as one of only 136 schools in the state to earn the Distinguished Achievement Award in the 2014 Virginia Index of Performance for Advanced Learning and Achievement. And you need to understand 136, we have 2,036 schools in the state of Virginia. So to be among the 136 is quite big. The VIP incentive program recognizes schools and divisions that exceed minimum state and federal accountability standards and achieve excellence goals established by the governor and the board. The administration and faculty at Ritchie have far exceeded exceeded these standards required to earn this award and they do this year after year. We could say so much more about Christy and the work that her staff does, but she is trying to get back to her fifth grade graduation ceremony. So she wants us to speed it up. And please join us in congratulating Christy Thorpe and her staff for that. We're going to take a little detour from the agenda because Mr. Frank Finn has a special award. Good evening. May I ask uh, the parents of Kyle Pinelli to come forward? Kyle Pinelli qualified this past April to represent the state of Virginia in the motorcycle service technology competition at the Skills USA National Leadership and Skills Conference in Kansas City, Missouri in June. Kyle finished first in the state in the motorcycle service technology competition at the Skills USA State Leadership Conference and Skills Championships. He won several prizes for his first place win, including $10,000 scholarship to Universal Technical Institute. Kyle is unable to be here this evening because sadly he was involved in a serious car accident last week and is in an area hospital. We want Kyle and his family to know that the school board, the superintendent, senior staff, and all staff in Falkir County Public Schools are keeping Kyle in their thoughts and prayers. Please join us as we congratulate Kyle and wish him 
a full and, and true recovery. Thank you. Our next recognition is for our Washington Post's Agnes Meyer Outstanding Teacher Award. Um, will Pam Graves from Brumfield Elementary please join me up front. This award was established to recognize teachers who exemplify excellence in their profession. I don't know if Pam is here. We're going to read it anyway. Recognize excellence in their profession. They show initiative, encourage creativity, and quality instruction, and they contribute to the improvement of education. Pam was honored by the Washington Post in May in a wonderful affair befitting this very, very special award. One of the letters that came to us from her, one of her students said the following that he was a struggling reader and he attributes advancing four levels in reading class and being placed in an advanced math class in Ms. Graves' advocacy, for Ms. Graves' advocacy, and his belief in, her abil in his ability to be a good student. This young man is now in governor's school. Colleagues say that the 20-year veteran teacher has no idea how she has impacted the lives of students. In her absence, please join me in saying thank you to Pam Graves from Brumfield Elementary. Our next award, it goes to Fauquier High School for the Wise High School Award, and we're going to ask Mr. Clarence Burden, Trip Burden, and Karen Chipman, they're here to please join us up front. Fauquier High School has been ranked as one of the 100 best wise high schools teaching personal finance in, and listen to this, the nation. WISE is an acronym for Working in Support of Education, which is a leading educational nonprofit organization. The WISE program provides teachers with a curriculum and instructional resources to teach personal finance and to measure student knowledge through the WISE standardized certification test. Students passing the test are designated certified financially literate, which shows they are financially capable when they graduate, and Falkir's average was 81%, again, one of the 100 best in the nation. Currently, only 17 states require personal finance. Virginia is one of them for the class of 2015 and beyond. But Fauquier High School, Ms. Mr. Burden and Ms. Chipman are keeping students ahead of the curve. And she even talked about this at graduation. You talked about compounded interest to all of the graduates when they were right before this. She announced the names. and. You had the nerve to start teaching right there in front of graduate. I thought that was fascinating. Please join us all as we congratulate Mr. Burden and Ms. Chipman for moving Parker High School financial aid. Will Matt Yonke and Elizabeth Devers join us up front? And any of their students who are in, in attendance? Come on up. The Virginia Music Educators Association has bestowed the Blue Ribbon School Honors on Kettle Run High School. The high distinction is reserved for schools with band, orchestra, and choruses, all earning superior ratings in their performance in the same year. On any given year, approximately 50 total schools throughout the Commonwealth earn this honor. Kettle Run High School's mixed choir 
chamber orchestra, and wind ensemble each receive superior ratings from each of their four judges at their respective events, earning them this prestigious award. Please join us as we congratulate band director Matt Yonke, choir and orchestra director Elizabeth Devers, and their very talented students. The Fauquier County Tree Awards. The Tree Awards are a result of Aspiration's 2015 strategic plan and were established to ensure that FCPS classified employees were recognized for their outstanding work accomplishments, interactions with others, demonstration of initiative, training and development activities, and their ability to improve the work process. The following are the first and second place winners in each of the three categories. Second place winners receive $250 and first place winners receive $500. First for the Aspen Tree Award, this is for bus drivers. Second place, and I'm gonna do the best I can with pronunciations. Our second place recipient is Paul Kakuza. Paul began driving a school bus as a substitute on September 25th, 2006, and became a contracted bus driver in October of 2006. Last year, he accepted a new and challenging responsibility when he agreed to be the driver for a student with unique disabilities. His skills as a bus driver were tested to the limits on many occasions when he had to stop the bus on the side of the road to regain control of situations. Paul was determined to find strategies to help the student. Paul invited the parents and the student to his farm to see his horse. Now the student carries a stuffed horse, stuffed horse a gift from Paul, to school every day. Wow. Paul, we thank you for your exemplary service and dedication to Fauquier County Public Schools. Our, our first place recipient is Barbara Horton. Barbara began driving a bus on August 31st, 2007. She drives a special needs bus on a run that includes two severe and profoundly handicapped students. Both of these students are wheelchair bound and nonverbal. In an effort to provide the appropriate support that, that her students require, Barbara willingly completed additional training. This training included becoming, a cert, becoming certified to administer, administer specific medications to students. Colleagues say that Ms. Horton quickly alerts both parents and her supervisors whenever she observes a change in a student's behavior or demeanor. Giving students proper care and attention and ensuring their comfort and safety are always her first priority. Barbara's, Barbara's colleagues also added that her, quote, bubbly personality is infectious. Barbara, we thank you for your exemplary service and dedication to Fauquier County Public Schools. <laughs> Next is the Maple for custodial support staff, courier, area, and area building managers. Second place. Our second place recipient is Steve Wines, head custodian at Marshall Middle School. Steve began his custodial work on September 7, 2007, and he became head custodian November 8, 2010. He has developed a strong, cohesive team whose work is outstanding. 
Visitors, and I know this firsthand, visitors often comment on the meticulous appearance and cleanliness of the school, and Steve is always the first to share the spotlight with members of his custodial team. His interactions with students and staff show his respect and care he has towards others. These positive relationships help the school in its recycling program, which is coordinated by Steve. Steve often volunteers his time to care for school grounds on weekends and is evidence that he has a green thumb. It is evident that he has a green thumb. Also, at Christmas time, he, help, he helps organize and deliver food to the hungry. Wow, Steve, you do a little bit of everything. <laughs> Steve, we thank you for your service to Falkir County Public Schools. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you. And our first place recipient is Mary Blake. Mary is a special recipient because she told me I looked good in my green shirt the other day. <laughs> Mary was first employed as a custodian on November 8th, 1985 and became head custodian at W.G. Coleman on October 1st, 1997. Following her motto of work smarter, not harder, Mary not only ensures that the school is always safe and immediately clean, immaculately clean, I'm sorry, but she finds time to attend the special requests of others and is an active member of the school's crisis team. Colleagues say that you can always depend on Mary. She's very polite and respectful to visitors, staff, and students, and she is highly respected by everyone. The pride she takes in her work is evident in the initiative she takes to find solutions to problems and seeking suggestions for improvements. Throughout renovations, Mary maintained a positive working relationship with outside workers and staff. Her dedication, attention to detail, and excellent record, have excellent record keeping, have been instrumental in the fact that the school has received a perfect score each of the last five years by the fire, by Marshall's fire inspector. Mary, we thank you for your service, exemplary service to Fauquier County Public Schools. Oak Award for Instructional Assistance, Library Aids, and Bus Aids. Our second place recipient is Catherine McCoy from Grace Miller Elementary. Catherine began working as a special education assistant on, October, on August 25, 2008. She has a bachelor's degree in early childhood education, and she came to Fauquier County from Loudoun County, a wonderful migration for us. Yes, indeed. Her colleagues are impressed with her professionalism, flexibility, caring attitude, and work ethic. She is always prepared for class and, is skillful, and skillfully fosters the inclusion of special education students in general education classroom activities using available resources to help students be successful. A few years ago, Kathy was instrumental in obtaining a book for all edu special education students entitled How the Special Education Brain Learns. A book, folk, a, group, a book group was formed with students, excuse me, with teachers and have met regularly discussed the book's contents, and implemented some strategies based on new learning. Kathy, we thank you. I don't think Kathy's here, but wherever you are, thank you very much for your service to Fauquier County Schools. <laughs> the, the first place recipient is Samantha Carter. Samantha began working as a school bus aide on October 1, 2009. Samantha is very focused on the well-being of her passengers on bus 167. She knows the needs of every student, many of whom have health problems, and she keeps their parents and supervisors immediately informed when issues arise. Many parents have shared with their child's teachers how much they appreciate her concern. Her colleagues say she truly loves her work and that she radiates with happiness. Her biggest smile occurs when the students are headed for her bus. Samantha treats her students with respect and kindness and enlivens the bus atmosphere with her positive interactions. Birthdays and special days are always celebrated on bus 167. Samantha became trained on how to verbally cue a student who is blind and how to use this cane, he used his cane to climb the steps and to navigate to his seat. Samantha, we thank you for your exemplary service to Fauquier County Schools. The Pine Award is for school nutritional staff. The second place recipient is Joyce Muma. Joyce began working in the cafeteria at James Brumfield Elementary School on January 2nd, 2006. She remained there until she was promoted to cafeteria manager at Grace Miller Elementary on August 17th, 2009. 
Grace Miller has a large population of students who are eligible for free and reduced meals, and Joyce has worked tirelessly to increase the number of students participating in the school breakfast program. She greets students at the door as they enter the building and encourages them to go to the cafeteria for breakfast. The cafeteria serves, serves numerous hot breakfast entrees, and due to her efforts, the number of students participating in the school breakfast program has significantly increased. Joyce's positive attitude and impressive work ethic are best described by her own words. I love doing what I do because I touch so many lives. I have never enjoyed a job as much as this one. That's very nice. And I like biscuits and gravy. Just let me put that in your Okay. Joyce, <laughs> we thank you for your exemplary service to Bucket County Schools. <laughs> thank you. Congratulations. I should say I like them, but they don't like me. Our first place recipient is Cheryl Henning. Cheryl began working in school nutrition as a substitute at Liberty High School on August 26, 1999. After becoming a full-time worker and later assistant manager, she was promoted to acting manager on August 22, 2005. And I've got to stop here and just mention that they made, um, I put out a challenge to the schools about um, Shepherd's Pie and Liberty was the one school that took me up and made Shepherd's Pie <laughs> just for the superintendent. I love shepherd's pie. Uh, because of her amb amb abilities and ambitions, she was promoted to manager on March 8, 2006. Under her leadership, Liberty High School has been the annual recipient of the highest percentage of student breakfast and lunch participation amongst high schools. In 2012, Liberty was selected to participate in a comprehensive five-year federal review rotation. Sherry's record keeping, staff preparedness, physical and resource management, and student involvement were without error and given commendable status. Wow. Sherry is very cooperative and respectful to students, and she has fostered positive working relationships with students, parents, teachers, and community groups. And she has strongly promoted healthy living habits through proper diets and has created a self-serve vegetable station, offering a large variety of vegetables daily. She has also assisted social, social services with food service during emergencies since Liberty High School is an emergency shelter. Sherry, we thank you for your exemplary service and ex extraordinary dedication to Fauquier County Schools. <laughs> Willow Tree for clerical, nurses, support staff, including administrative, secretaries, nurses, and IT employees. Second place recipient is Martha Janoski. Martha began working as a secretary of school counseling at Warrington Junior High School, now Warrington Middle School, on August 20th, 1984. She manages the student files amongst numerous other critical responsibilities with accuracy. Her responsibilities include gathering all student interim and nine weeks reports for parents, the information needed for students' academic evaluations, and attendance reports. To fulfill her responsibilities, she must learn the latest technology and data reporting systems. Her, since her employment, Martha has been an invaluable resource to the staff and faculty, providing them with information and services they need to support individual students in an efficient and timely manner. She does this with kindness, politeness, and exactness. Speaking of exactness, I just wanted to point out that Martha told me that she's worked for five superintendents, and I was up to 4.5. <laughs> you're, you're getting higher. Okay. <laughs> so I'm up to four now? Yes. Okay. Okay, I'm just checking. She is well prepared and very well organized. According to colleagues, Martha says, if I can help in any way, whether it's guidance, questions or not, please let me know. As an aside, and I love this story, when Martha was a, was a student at Florida State University, she attended an Elvis Presley concert. And after the show, and I think this is only part of the story, but I'll read what's written here. And after the show, she met him and received an autographed picture from the king himself. Martha, Martha, we thank you for your exemplary service and dedication to Fauquier County Public Schools. Congratulations. And first place, Elvis Sue, is that right? First place, Cindy Mills. Seems like I have a story about all these folks. Went to an event recently and someone asked me if I was going to go and I said, uh, yeah, I, I, I think I'm going to go. And Cindy said, because it's the right thing to do. 
Cindy began working as an account clerk on August 9, 2004. Since 2006, she has served as a budget analyst in Falker County School Board in the Falker County School Board office. Cindy has an extensive, thorough understanding of financial management systems, and she can help others design accounting systems for reporting and reconciliation. She is never too busy to answer questions, and she does this while being personable and accessible. Cindy meets all deadlines regardless of the pressure, and she does so with a smile. <laughs> when a departmental administrator's vacancy occurred, Cindy stepped in and monitored requests from teachers, helped with procurements, processed billing, and reconciled budgets. When the position was filled, Cindy made sure that all the passwords and essential information were made available. Cindy is patient, pleasant, and meticulous in her work. She is always willing to help others, and her contributions, given in the truest spirit of teamwork, have made her an invaluable asset to every department. Cindy, we thank you for your exemplary service and dedication to Fox <laughs> School. Will Ember Skursky please join me up front? Is Ember Skursky here? Going once. Well, quickly, Ember is a sixth grade student at Marshall Middle School. She is one of the 10 winners in a nationwide essay contest sponsored by the school board, by the school band and orchestra magazine. The prompt for the contest open to students in grades four through 12 was, now more than ever, music education is important because Ember will receive a $1,000 scholarship for further, to further her music education, and her essay will be posted on the school band and orchestra website and featured in their magazine this summer. Very nice. Join us as we congratulate Ember. Dr. Jack, I just wanted to mention, I've been here six years. Year one, the first thing I learned, whenever Cindy tells you to do something, just do it. Because <laughs> it's always right. So, uh, This evening, we'd like to ask uh, the Destination Imagination team to please come forward. And you know, these guys look very familiar to me. And as you'll find out as we speak here about their accomplishments, they're a very accomplished team. Destination Imagination is one of the world's largest creativity programs for youth of all ages with thousands of students participating on over 13,000 teams across the nation and in foreign countries. And just to give you some idea, uh, this year in competition, and this is not an inclusive list, there were uh, the countries of Poland, Turkey, China, and England were represented, and many, many others. This program helps student teams discover how to build important lifelong skills, such as problem solving, teamwork, and divergent thinking. Qualifying for Globals at the high school level is a team composed of senior students from Falkier and Liberty High Schools, which is kind of unique that they go across schools. Um, and the team is managed by Jennifer Rockefeller. Um, mem yeah. <laughs> Members of the team, Matt David, could you r raise your hand, Matt? Okay. Um, Andy Rockefeller. Yeah. Um, Brent Schultz. And, and I don't know if Lizzie Berger is here. Is she not unable to attend? She's unable to attend. Um, and Hannah Abel. Hannah here? Oh, there she is. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Hannah. So, um, what's, one of the things that's really unique about this team is they've been together as a team since seventh grade. And I think a couple of the members of the team may be even dating back to sixth grade at Taylor Middle School. And I think that's kind of unique that they stayed together for such a long period of time. Competing in the improvisational challenge, the team achieved second place overall at the state tournament. Uh, the team's third trip to the Globals earned them 10th place in the pandemonium improvisational category. And I, I talked to Ms. Rockefeller today, and one of the things she shared with me is that you also placed fourth in the instant challenge out of 73 teams. And I think that, that win represented something special to the group. Um, it is our honor to recognize these innovative and creative students this evening 
to congratulate them on their state and global wins and to congratulate you on your future endeavors as graduates. Thank you. Okay, we'd like to ask the Technology Student Association students to please come forward. Okay. The Technology Student Association gives members opportunities for leadership and personal growth in all areas of technology, innovation, design, and engineering. Through TSA's regional, state, and international competitions, members can challenge themselves in over 60 different categories in middle and high school. These competitions stress the importance of STEM concepts, leadership, and presentation skills. Uh, and let's just go down uh, the list. Can we have uh, Joey Bear? OK. And also, um, and I'm going to do my best, and I, you tell me if I get these names right. Uh, Jonathan Thibodeau, did I get pretty close? He's not here. Do you guys know if I got it close? So, okay. And, and August Lukahus, is that Lukahus? Close enough. <laughs> you, you're so kind. Um, Patrick Kimball, not here, and Dana Lehman. Also not present, okay. In any event, we'd like to talk about that the Kettle Run High School senior, Joey Bear, qualified for national TSA competition by taking first place in the 3D CAD competition at the 2014 Technosphere State Conference, where students had to create a 3D computer model of an engineering or machine tool or device. Sophomore Jonathan Thibodeau from Liberty High School took second in architectural 2D CAD, Cattle Run Junior August Lit Cahoos, and <laughs> I'm working on it, I'm gonna get it perfect eventually, and sophomore Patrick Kimball took second place in technical problem solving competition. Fauquier High School student Dana Lehman placed in the top three for the second year, taking third place in architectural 2D CAD. Please join me in congratulating these innovative young students and wishing Joey the best in the National TSA Conference in July. Will Tyler Benson Ed Delaverne, Frank Delaverne, and Donovan Thompson, please come forward. The Virginia Class 4A Indoor Track and Field State Meet was held in March in Lynchburg, Virginia. Tyler, Ed, Frank, and Donovan participated in the 1600 meter relay which for those of you who don't know, 1,600 meters is just under a mile or four laps around the track. These young men won the event, finishing in three minutes, 28.76 seconds, four laps around the track. <laughs> Amazing. This state championship title is the first in a running event for Falkier High School since 2005. Please join me in congratulating Tyler, Ed, Frank, and Donovan as state champions. <laughs>
You got recycling. Yeah, you got it. As part of Fauquier County Public Schools Aspirations 2015 and the school board's conservation policy, a recycling committee was created to promote environmental stewardship through recycling. This year, the recycling committee sponsored the second annual recycling poster contest to increase awareness and educate students and the community about the benefits of recycling. Over 2,000 students participated in this contest. A committee at each school judged the posters that were submitted originally and selected the top three to, from each grade level to send to the division for the division-wide competition. The recycling committee and division administrative staff judged the posters and selected the division-wide grade level champions. Tonight we are recognizing the top two students from each grade level who have already received their prizes and certificates. The winning posters will be displayed on the overhead screens by grade level as I call out the names. Um, students, as I call your names, please come forward and remain at the front until I've called all the grade levels, if you will. For kindergarten, the winners are Julia Green, Brumfield Elementary, and Daniel Spagnolo, Pierce Elementary. And if you'll just stand up front for first grade, and their posters are displayed on the overhead, Taylor Rhodes, Brumfield Elementary, and Laura Moline, Pearson Elementary. For second grade, Annika Busenlaner, Bradley Elementary, and Daniel Call, Brumfield Elementary. <laughs> For third grade, Jimmy Ritchie, Smith Elementary, and Aaron Solden, Smith Elementary. For fourth grade, Mara Rinaldi for Smith Elementary and Kylie Call, Brumfield Elementary. <laughs> for fifth grade, Lainey Wayman, Bradley Elementary and Marie Swee, Bradley Elementary. Sixth grade, Danielle Crouch, Marshall Middle School, and Chloe Lawson, Cedar Lee Middle School. <laughs> Seventh grade, Kayla Lacey, Cedar Lee Middle School, and Aaron Dutton, Taylor Middle School. Eighth grade, Michelet Kroger, Cedar Lee Middle School, and Jordan Yates, Warrington Middle School. <laughs> Ninth grade, Adam Yates, Liberty High School, and Robbie Hume, Kettle Run High School. Tenth grade, Katie Grandelli, Liberty High School. Eleventh grade, Lauren Moon, Kettle Run High School, and Caitlin Reed and Logan Bourne, Falkier High School. Twelfth grade, Jamie Featheroff, 
Liberty High School, and Heather Jorgensen, Falkier High School. <laughs> On behalf of the School Division and Re Recycling Committee, I would like to thank you for your participation in this event. Please congratulate me. Please join me in congratulating these students. <laughs> and for pronouncing all the names. <laughs> Okay, we have one more extremely important recognition this evening, and we would like to honor Roger Lee, principal of Liberty High School, who is retiring this year. And Mr. Cox, I believe you have a group of students who would like to do so, have a little something for Mr. Lee. Come on up, guys. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, Mr. Lee, the principal at Liberty High School, has been working in Falkner County Public Schools for 34 years, 17 at Liberty High School, five as an assistant principal, 12 as a principal, is retired. It's been a special day already at Liberty High School, Mr. Lee. And these students here would like to honor you tonight. And Mr. Lee, your presence up front has been requested. You want to bring the singers over here, too? Okay, all right. Go ahead, whoever wants to come. Ah, well, I'll, um, I'll keep this just a little bit short. Um, Mr. Lee, when I came to Liberty, uh, you're, as the, the administrators, as far as they go, you were the first one that I knew. I'm very sorry, Mr. Cox and Ms. Milburn. <laughs> um, you were a constant presence around the school, and every time I saw you, you never hesitated to throw a friendly hello or how are you doing my way. And it's been, um, it's been really great to have you as our principal for these four years. And I'm sure that the students before us have thought the exact same thing, Mr. Lee. I hope you have a good retirement. All right, Mr. Lee. I think we've been through a lot together after all the meetings and all of that, and we share JMU in common, so that should be fun. I hope to see you at some of the football games. I'll send you some free tickets or something, but <laughs> um, I retract my statement from yesterday. You are my favorite administrator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on behalf of your retirement, <laughs> from the students at Liberty, we would like to present you with this. Okay. I was right, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Watch out, it's going to jump at you. I'm sorry? It's going to jump at you. That's what you told me yesterday. I've got a date watch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I, I trust myself. <laughs> Yo, 
opened it though, right? I did. That's what I'm coming okay, to say. Okay, cool. Chris <laughs> Folks gave me a couple tickets to the, the Nationals game coming up. Woo! Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you all, fellas. I appreciate that. Really Thank you, Mr. Lee. And um, uh, hello, my name is Stephen Hinton. I'm also a senior at Liberty High School. And um, also, you're painting me right here now. well, not anymore. Alumnus of Li Liberty High School. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, for students of Liberty's choir, we've uh, prepared two songs for, for you. So.
Okay. All right, is that everybody?